Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as you could see from the title, today we're going to be doing the pre-summer maintenance to this mower. As you can see from the markings on here, the last time this mower was serviced was at 602 hours. Um, if I open up the access hatch here, You can see that this was also serviced at the same amount of hours, the oil filter here. And over last summer, I put almost 100 hours on it. So it is time to replace all this stuff that has needs servicing and just generally get it ready for summer. First off, we've got some new spark plugs here. We've got a new oil filter for the engine here. Got new pre-filter and main air filter new fuel pump, new fuel filter. Also, I've got a new hydraulic oil filter right here. And in a separate video that I'm gonna record just after this one, I'm gonna show you how to do a complete hydraulic oil flush and change. So let's get to it. All right, so I figure we'll start with the oil change and replacing the oil filter. So as you can see, I have got a pan underneath the oil drain plug here, which is this. I'm gonna clean it off with some paper towels before trying to open it though. Gotta be careful of this uh, cable here because that is the parking brake cable. All right, let's open this. All right, out it goes. All right, now that the oil is all out, I'm gonna have to get the old oil filter off. All right, this was loose enough that I was able to get it just by hand. All right, so I forgot to move my oil pan over and put it underneath the oil filter when I took it off, which means I spilled oil all over the sidewalk, but uh, just make sure when you're doing this, you don't do that. Okay, and so before installing my nice new oil filter, I'm going to do it the manual suggests and put some oil all around the gasket here. Okay. Now I'm gonna thread it on until it makes contact. There we go. Once it makes contact, you put it on about three quarters of a turn to a full turn per the manual. Now, if you're doing this on a different mower, check your manual, just make sure it's not something different because it could easily be a slightly different procedure. Okay, so it makes contact here. Okay, that's approximately the right torque. All right, now I gotta put the new oil in. Now the service manual did not say how much oil to put in. It just said to add it until it's full on the dipstick. So I'm gonna estimate from how much came out that this thing had just a little over a quart in it. And we'll go from there.
Something important to remember before you start adding oil is to put the drain cap back on so that you don't lose all your oil. Okay, it looks like it's full now, so I'm going to put the dipstick back in. But before I'm done with the entire job, I'm going to check it one last time. After all the oil settles into the bottom of the oil pan, I want to just make sure that it's still at the right level. Okay, so the next thing I want to do here is take this bottle of white out here, and you can use any kind of white paint for this kind of thing. Uh, and I'm just going to mark on my oil filter how many hours I changed it at. So, in this case, it's gonna be uh, 700. All right, now I'm not gonna have to worry about whether or not I remember when I last serviced it, because it's marked. Okay, so now I'm gonna take off fuel pump and replace it with the new one. One thing to note when replacing your fuel pump is that old pumps and filters are not necessarily bad. You're just replacing them before they have the chance to go bad. So. It's smart to keep them around because eventually you may end up having a problem with your current pump and not want to wait for parts. So you could just put the old one on that still works, but it's not in the best of shape. So whenever I change one of these out, I keep it. All right, so we got the old one off. Eh, sorta looks like 700 anyway. And then I'm gonna mark this. All right, so next, I'm gonna pop out the old spark plugs and put in the new ones. Not in the worst of shape, but also not in the best of shape. That's much better. OK, 
Okay, last but not least, we have the air filter. I already removed the old air filter earlier, so I'm just going to put the new one on now. I'm going to spray a little bit of this air filter oil on there. I hope this video was helpful and informative and you feel like you're ready to tackle your own project now. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and stick around so that we can do more things later.